fourth. Ties the game. Oh, boy. 63 points, and you're looking at an all-time record. Oh, boy. Michael Jordan. Wow. So even after 27 years, no player has been able to break that record. MJ's 63 point game 27 years ago today, April 20th, 1986 against the almighty Celtics. Yeah, the same Celtic team that went 67 and 15 in the regular season and 40 and one at home. All right, they were 40 and one at home during the regular season. Their one and only loss came at the hands of the Clyde Drexler led Portland Trailblazers. That's just incredible. All right, there was no question about it that the that the 1985-86 Boston Celtics are undoubtedly the greatest Celtic team of all time. And if you dispute that, you simply do not know basketball. All right, no disrespect to any other Celtic team, but the 85-86 Celtics, they are just the greatest Celtic team ever. Period. All right. Now let me just go. Let me just go over uh, MJ stats for that game. Uh, he had 63 points in 53 minutes of play. Uh, 22 out of 41 from the field, which is a 54% shooting. Zero out of zero from downtown. 19 out of 21 from the charity stripe. He also grabbed five rebounds, dished out six six assists. Stole the ball three times, had two blocks, four turnovers, and four personal fouls. All right. Now, I know there's some of you out there who say, oh, what's the big deal if MJ dropped 63 points uh, if his team lost and eventually got swept? Well, here's why. Run, uh, one, MJ was a rookie. All right. Um, he did this in his second season coming off of a broken foot. And not to mention, he did this not only in the postseason but also against against a team with five hall of famers on it all right larry bird kevin McHale, robert parrish bill walton and dennis johnson all right five hall of famers on that team and mj still dropped 63 points on them you know in all honesty i don't think there's ever going to be a player ever again in the nba to score 63 or more points against a team with five Hall of Famers on it in the playoffs. All right. Now, in case if you guys don't know, MJ's 63-point game uh, against the Celtics is not an NBA uh, Finals uh, record because Elgin Baylor in the year 1962 dropped 61 points in the finals. So 61 points in the finals is the most points ever scored. Uh, but any other round in the playoffs besides the finals uh yes mj has the r record still to this day all right 63 points is still the most points scored in in a non nba finals game all right which is again incredible all right now if you guys don't know he had 49 points in game one and i believe he had only 19 in game three let me just double check on that right now for you guys um just because i'm being generous Next game was game three. MJ had, let's see here. Uh, yes, he had 19 points. Okay, so yeah, sure. I mean, his, it was a um, 44 point differential between game two and game three, but still the fact that he dropped 63 points and that's still an NBA playoff record is still, it's just incredible. All right, guys. Um, let me know what you guys think about this. Uh, do you think any player will ever score 63 or more points against a team with five Hall of Famers on it? Because I sure don't think um, that's going to happen. But only time will tell. All right. Let me know what you guys think about it. You know exactly what to do. Thank you for watching. Uh, go Bulls and have a blessed day.